Put your 3D glasses on them, pussy. Cause you know we coming straight at you. Am I the meanest? Sure no. Am I the prettiest? Sure no. Am I the baddest mofo low down around this town? Sure no. Well, who am I? Miss Circle City. Who am I? Miss Circle City. I can't hear you. Miss Circle City. Ain't nobody bad like me. Miss Circle City. But what you got to remember? Mr. Circle City, blogger. Mr. Circle City. Mm -hmm. Keep it wrapped. Whoa. Keep it wrapped. All them thirties and them glizzies a clap. On cam, chopper, then forty. Shorty left the Circle City recap. Whoa. Your 3D glasses on them, pussy, because you know we coming straight at you. This nigga saying that he wanted the battle. Nigga, I should murk him really. Give him one shot and give him a recap with a chopper on screen. Nigga, I'm circle city. Hey, 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 hey. Put your 3D glasses on them, pussy, because you know we coming straight at you.
myself and God, yeah, I know the Lord I'm sending money to my dogs so we can go to stores I go to war with anybody, ain't no favoritism Round tables with the mob before we make decisions Decide if you a killer or you ain't a killer Peer pressure made him shoot, he really ain't a killer Niggas remember who they shot, not what they ate for dinner Summertimes niggas die so they don't make the winner Sometimes it take a loss just to make a winner All my chains got crosses just cause I'm a sinner Man, I send a couple prayers up for the guys Who died young, now they living in them blue skies Before I shoot, I make sure I look him in his eyes So he can see if he was ready for his time to die I told my family if I go that you ain't gotta cry Cause I done roll for my niggas so they gotta ride I told my family if I go that you ain't gotta cry Cause I done roll for my niggas so they gotta ride Got some blue eyes, young crip, so you know I rep the blue side. Say he from the six, well it must be two sides. If I don't know him, then it's fuck him like two times. Never snitch if I get caught up, I'ma do mine. Mind on the money, million dollar talks. If you can't put your niggas on, you not a boss. I spin a band on the wrist, that's how it costs. I'm still in the hood where you get slapped if you soft, yeah, soft or hard. I know about the hustle, tryna make it flip and not get chipped. I know the struggle, I've been there. Matter of fact, dog, I'm still there. Catch me in the spots where it's rolling like a wheelchair. I got homies' hoods tatted on their face, facing nails all because they homie ratted on the case. In most cases, found guilty over true lies. Chess out, head high, looking toward the blue skies. Told my family if I go, that they ain't gotta cry. Cause I done roll for my niggas, so they gotta run. Blue skies, anything goes underneath these blue skies. Gotta watch your ass underneath these. PBV, live in this motherfucker with my brother, man, Danny motherfucking Myers. What's poppin', boy? What's the deal? What's the deal, bro? How you rockin', G? Oh, man, I'm chillin', man. I just got back from the NY, man. Me beat on DT. We gotta go put that West Coast flag down there on the East, you know what I'm sayin'? Yeah, yeah, shout out, man. Uh, man, speaking of Geechee Gotti, man, let me praise Geechee Gotti. That blue sky is my nigga. I've been listening to that goddamn song for a week, G, on repeat. Oh, yeah. The boy makes oh, dope yeah. music. Yeah, he cold. He cold. Yeah, yeah. He, he can really have a career outside of battle rap. Yeah, yeah, he's dope because he he can uh because he uh because you know they say battle rappers can't make music. That's a lie when it comes to certain type of guys. Yeah, that's a lie. Yeah, that's a lie, man. That's a myth. Out the gate, before we uh get into everything else, why do you feel like? Uh, it's a myth, and uh, what what makes Geechee Gotti special? You know, he's just talking his truth. You know what I'm saying? You know, the, the truth gonna permeate through through anything. So when you talking about truth and and what you really been through, what you going through, there's a lot of people that can relate to it, man. You ain't the only one going through that. Yeah. I mean, that goes that go for anything you're talking about. It don't gotta be. Gangsta shit all the time. You could be talking about having a hard time making it through college. Mm-hmm. It's, it's people out there that's going to feel that. Yeah. You ain't going to talk about being depressed and having suicidal thoughts, and it's niggas that feel that. That's so, a fact. You know, as long as you talk your truth, man, it, it's, it's a market out there for you. That's real niggas Everybody shit. not going to gravitate towards what you doing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everybody not going to fuck with what you doing. But it's a, it's a whole bunch of people out there that do fuck with what you doing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Real shit, real shit. But people get caught up in the hoopla because they want to go for what's popular instead of just being themselves. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to that right, nigga. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to that nigga Geechee Gotti, though. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, he's speaking his Word truth. Up. He's speaking his truth. That boy, that, that nigga look like he from it, my nigga. I'm like, yeah, he, he talking right. that shit. That nigga from that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Out the gate, out the gate. So shout out to that man. You know what I'm saying? So let's speak about this strike, right the strike two point motherfucking five. My nigga Danny Myers. You know what I'm saying? Before we get to your battle, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I want to give a quick uh, recap on all the battles. So you've seen all the battles, right? Right. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Which is crazy, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Because you know a nigga need a moment collect their thoughts and you know what I mean go over their rounds so you would just right. you would just right, out right. there the whole time like nigga I'm ready fuck all that yeah I've been ready you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. why yeah, you so, ready, so I gotta get ready why you so prepared yeah you would say if you always ready you ain't gotta get ready you know what I'm saying so why do you always just be overly prepared bro like what is your secret um the dedication man you, you know just cause, cause you don't want to choke you know what I'm saying you don't want to choke you don't want to be forgetting your bars and but you can lose to a nigga that's not better than you only because you didn't prepare. Mm. And that's a, that's a cold feeling. Not the game. Not the game. I, I done went through that before. I, I battled Snow on mm. you, Yeah, you and had I, that. I, I, I went on there and we no rounds for Snow. I just used all three uh, East State rounds trying to remember some shit from like 10 years ago. And I lost. And it was a saltier, it was even saltier feeling because I knew he wasn't better than me. Like, I knew he couldn't fuck with me if I really wrote for him. Right. So, like, that right there, like, really showed me I got to go into every battle, like, you know, ready. You know, 100%. 100% every, every battle. Out the gate. Out the gate. You said that was that UFF joint that was on, on TV and shit, right? Right. Yeah, right, yeah. right. Out the gate, you know what I'm saying? But you live, you learn. Everything's a learning experience. So, so from that moment, I, you've always been prepared. Like, nigga, I'm ready. Well, you know what it was though? I was, I was always ready before that. Like, my whole battle career before that, I was ready. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's why I was able to battle Snow. I mean, you had uh, rounds, but time. you just didn't write rounds for him. Like, you had some shit for him. Yeah, I, mean, I didn't write nothing for him. Right, that's what it was. I didn't write nothing for Snow. Like, I just, I just went on there. Because you have to have nine rounds wrote and memorized before you go on the show. You got to have nine rounds in case you make it to the, to the finals. Because mm -hmm. you got to win three times. And that's how you win the whole tournament, right? Yep. So that means you got to have nine rounds of two minutes. So I went on the show with three rounds. That's it. Like, I went on there because I was writing for, like I said, I was writing for uh, Rick Belair and West Coast Dread. Mm -hmm. And I just, boom, I got, I got the call kind of late. Like, I didn't get the call early. But I got the call late to go on there. So, I was like, yeah, fuck it. Like, you know what? I ain't going to turn, I ain't going to say no. Like, who going to turn down the opportunity to be on BET? Yeah, national you know, TV. Hell yeah. Thing. Yeah, who going to say no? So, I'm like, fuck it. Even though I knew it wasn't enough time. For me to, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't never really just write just for any old thing just for the sake of saying I got three rounds. Like, I'll be trying to have every round be something crazy. Yeah. So I want to have A1 material. And I went on there, battle Ivy Boom. I beat Ivy Boom. Uh, and and um, he, got, after that, they moved me on the snow. And once I got the snow, I didn't have no more rounds. So yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I just had to go into the rap book, man, and just get some old shit memorized. And I was stumbling through and stumbling through, and I lost. And the crazy part is, my bars were so crazy, Papoose. It was like, no, I'm judging for Danny, because he liked the material that I was saying. Yeah. I just didn't get it all clean. Yeah. And I think my beat, if I'm not, if, if I'm not mistaken, I think my beat was the one that was like, um, uh, nah, we gotta go with, with Snow, because he was, he was cleaner. Yeah, and, and like that feeling. I was like, you know, this nigga Snow, he all right. He, he, you know, he, he's not better than me. Where's Snow at now? Like where's no disrespect? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And, and my thing is, you don't want to lose to somebody that's, that's weaker than you for real. Mm -hmm. on, 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 on the account that you didn't really prepare. Because that shit happens a lot in battle rap. Yeah. So that's why I'll be ready. Hence, hence you be ready, you know what I'm saying? So you was able to watch all these motherfucking battles. You know what I'm saying? So, um, 
Shout out salute to that. Oh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because it only takes one time, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? One time, right. bro. This can't happen no more, my yeah. nigga. I'm better than that. Right. Fuck, yeah, yeah. Cause the thing is, you gotta care. Like you gotta care mm -hmm. about what you're doing to be great at. You know, if you don't care about this shit, then it's gonna show in your work. Mm -hmm. It's gonna show that you don't care. It's a fact. You know what I mean? But if you care, you dedicate to it. That's gonna show too. It's a fact. You know what I mean? So that's why I think people see. I bring three rounds every time. Three rounds every time. So mm -hmm. my, my record is, is impeccable, man. Hey, bro. If not the one of the most consistent battle rappers ever in right. the modern era of battle rap. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Not hey, That's a fact. Real shit. I ain't seen you, bro. I ain't seen you fuck up, G. You know what I'm saying? Except that UFF shit. You know what I'm saying? That was just on some right. spot shit. But, like, if I know I got time to write for just you, and I'm coming to a yo state or wherever you are, my nigga, I'm going to be ready. Yeah, I'm going to go hard. Yeah, you're right, going to work ready. the nigga. I'm chief. I'm going to be ready, bro. Like, I ain't... Because I feel like, shit, a nigga going to kill me if I don't kill him. It's, it's, it's one of us got to go. It's either me or you. <laughs> <laughs> it's me or you and it's never me. It, it ain't going to be me, dude. That's, that's, that's how... I, <laughs> that's how, that's my whole mentality. It's, it's near you, and it's never me. Out the gate, you know what I'm saying? Real shit. So, uh, the Out strike, the, the strike 2.5. Let's speak, uh, before, I don't want to speak on your battle just yet. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, let's speak about Glue Easy versus Ryder. You know what I'm saying? Was that three rounds? All these it, were three it was rounds. Cool. Yeah, all of them were three rounds. It was a cool battle. Uh, I think, I mean, I, they could have been harder than that. They could have went harder. I seen him go harder than like Lizzy went crazy when he battled Geechee and me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I seen him go crazy in this battle. Um, I feel like they kind of took it light on each other for real. Like homies, you know what I'm saying? Ah, so, okay, that scenario. Okay. Glue took the first round. Ryder, Ryder got round two and three. You know what I'm saying? Ryder really had a crazy second round, but overall it was, it was a, like a. a Seven, seven out of ten. You know okay. what I'm saying? Overall. Okay, so you said Ryder got the last two and Glue only got the first. Yeah, yeah, that's how that went. Okay, like you said, you done you done fought Glue before. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, like y'all y'all fought before, so so you like you said you felt like he had better material for you than Ryder. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yes, he did. You know what I'm saying? Like, it felt like. He had, he had some dope lines, but it felt like he was holding back, man. Like, you know, this your boy, and you know, that's your boy, and, you know, they didn't, it was like they was just a brother fight. It felt like, that's why I feel like a, a brother fight. Okay, you ain't trying to hurt you. Like, if you, 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 you feel me, like, if you fight your brother, you knock him down, you ain't finna just stomp his head in the concrete and uh -huh. his brains from the splatter out of his skull. You ain't gonna do that. <laughs> Jeez, no. You knock your brother down. You like this, bitch ass nigga. I told you what he fucking with, you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? And you know, you probably help him up. Uh, probably yeah. help him up, probably walk away. Yeah. Right, just walk away and leave him there. But you ain't finna just, when he down, now you finna go get the stone rock and then smash the stone <laughs> in. Like, you feel me? Oh, gee, bro. So it, that's how that battle went. It kind of felt like, you know, uh, like, we don't, we don't go until one of us fall down. and one fall down, then we walk away. Okay. That's how I feel. It didn't feel like, oh, I'm gonna kill you. Like, I'm finna kill your ass. <laughs> you know? yeah. So it is, you know, that's how that went. Okay. That's why a lot of people wasn't even, even so much excited for that battle, per se, because they, they, they knew they knew, was friends. They already knew. Yeah. They already knew they was friends, so they were like, nah, these niggas ain't gonna go hard on each other. I thought they was, though. I'm like, nah, don't get it fucked up, because I done battle niggas that I'm cool with, like Chilla. I, yeah. I, I battle Chilla. You a different animal, my and, nigga. And, and we went hard. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, y'all niggas are different animals, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's a newer crop. Like, right. no disrespect to the newer guys, but you know what I mean? Like, friendly fire is real nowadays. Right, right, right. Yeah, you gotta have that killer instinct, man, yeah. if you're gonna do this battle shit. Out the gate, Friend or foe. Friend or foe, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, because he trying to kill you, my nigga. But, I swear. You know, they, it was a decent battle. It was a decent battle. Let me tell you something I heard Styles P say. You know, I'm an old nigga. I was watching the Styles P interview. This is from a come up DVD I got 2007. I still got it. He was like, all this rap shit is cool. But niggas in the NBA, when he see when he used Kobe versus another, and when Kobe see this nigga, man, we cool, but I'm about to bust your ass on this court. Fuck the dumb shit. Right. Fuck that friend shit. Fuck My nigga, I'm here to, I'm here to win, shit. G. 
Yeah. Fuck and that, the dumb shit. Fuck that dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> real shit. Real shit. So, uh, so you said Ryder, uh, two one. Blue got the first. Ryder got the last two, right? Yeah, sir. Okay. So, uh, Chef Trez yes, versus sir. Loso. Uh, that didn't happen. Trez was unfortunately locked up. Yeah. And uh, cool. so they replaced that with uh, Mr. Wavy and uh, Jerry West. Oh, it was so two Trez, different niggas. Trez and Loso, Trez and Loso gonna go down on a, on a, like the next card. Okay. Okay. Trez so will be you... out of jail. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Free that nigga Trez, man. Yeah, free Trez. Yeah, he'll he be out soon. On chief, on chief. You know what I'm saying? So you said it was Jerry West versus uh, Mr. Wavy. Mr. Wavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good one too. It was a good one. Yeah, I, I they, fucked they both got of them busy. Guys. They got busy, man. Like they was, it was bars, it was performance. Uh, Mr. Wavy set it off. He set it off and, and set up, set the bar high. Jerry came right back, and Jerry came right back and got that first round, man. And Wavy came back the second round and went dumb crazy, and he took the second. So now, to me, it was one one. It was good it's for the sport. Good yeah, good for the sport. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, it was a very entertaining battle, though. Okay, let's do a comparison real quick. You know what I mean? Mr. Wavy versus Jerry West, was it better than Glue Easy versus Ryder? Yes, yes, yeah. I would give, like, Jerry West, like, because I, I gave them, like, a seven. Like, I gave Glue and Ryder, like, a seven out of ten. Like, West Mill, probably 8.5 to a nine, probably. Mm, mm. Eight, eight, eight and a half out of ten, like, you know, on the ten scale. Yeah, it was that good. That's dope. That's dope as fuck. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the guys. You know what I mean? Free that nigga Trez. Um, B Dot versus J C. Oh, that's a, that was a, also a crazy battle, man. B Dot went crazy. Uh, J C. Uh, J C went crazy too, man. It's that battle right there. It might have to come down to how, how you decipher it, man. How you break it down. A lot of people had J C winning too. A lot of people got J C winning. I, and, and without even being less biased, I actually had beat. I take rounds one and three. You know what I'm saying? And my other partners felt like that too. Like beat, I got that battle. It's a good ass battle. It's a lot of information in there being put out. What? You know, between both of them, they putting out a lot of dope substance and content. It ain't really like no punchline festival. Lyricist. This is like they was in there talking that 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 Kenny shit that. Egypt shit, yeah. uh, they was in there talking to black, all kind of shit, just black king shit, and trying to, like, uh, so this JC information was, yeah, yeah, JC, JC, the strategy was to make B Dot look, uh, kind of like a contradiction. Uh, you know okay. what I'm saying? Like, he, he's basically like, how's how you a blood? And, you know, you, you, you already, you divided amongst the crib niggas, like, but then you, you are, fucking, so how's you trying um, to unite? That's the kind of angle you use against B Dot, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, a lot of people use it. They see just went about it. You know what I'm saying? It, it's a good ass battle. You know, I'm not mad if you, if you say J C. I, I personally had B Dot, but uh, yeah, you got that. That was a good one. That's probably like a nine out of ten for real. Oh shit! No, that's high as hell, nigga. That's fire. Yeah, that shit was. Yeah. That's fire. So uh. Next battle, uh, K Shine versus Av. I was hearing about this one, the face off and all that shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? How'd that one go? Oh, man. Jesus Christ. Uh, I don't know, man. K Shine is different, bro. That's all I can. <laughs> he is. And you fought that nigga, too. It's another nigga you fought on the car. You the fuck, like, goddamn. I mean, niggas, you yeah, the battle. Yeah, I fought down there. I fought a lot. Of, I beat that. You feel me? Like, I battled JC. I battled Pete. I battled Bluey. I battled K Yeah. I battled, like, damn near The whole the car, court, bro. Oh, my mama. Yeah. And, uh, but, um, let me see. Let me see. Uh, K Shine, like, Ab went first and had some crazy ass lines. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That nigga said 
some uh, he said with the se- when the semi fired, I turn this thing and get shot through the window like a mini blind. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm like, oh, that was that was slick. Was some shit. That was slick. Yeah, he had a lot of crazy lines, right? Only problem was he was rapping it too fast. He was just like he was just speeding. He was just rapping real fast, rapping real fast, rapping real fast, and like some of them the crowd didn't catch. And um, then when it was K-Shine time, K-Shine got in the middle of the stage and looked and faced towards the crowd. Like, he never really rapped towards ass. Yeah, he, he rapped to the crowd. He turned his body to the crowd and, and looked at the crowd and rapped his rounds to the crowd. So, he, and, and, and what's crazier is that ass allowed K-Shine to command the stage. And you can't let a performer command the stage on you. You mm. can't give them space. You yep. know, if you look at my tactics, I cut the ring off on you. Like, like if you get look at me on the K-Shine, or you look at me on the DNA, I'm in that grill. Mm. I'm not giving you no motherfucking space. I'm going to mm. cut the ring off. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's because I actually come from a real boxing background. You know what I mean? I got boxing with that on my shoulder. Like, I come from a boxing background, so I use that same strategy that I taught in the ring. I take that to the battle ring where I'm cutting the ring off. But you know, when I was, not, not even turning this on me, but half was supposed to cut the ring off. You gave K Shine all this space. So now K Shine is performing and says some crazy line, haymaker after haymaker after haymaker. And now it just looks like the K Shine show featuring half. Oh wow! It looks that it looks that crazy. Yeah, yeah, and it's crazy because lyrically, Av was probably better, man. Av had you know better bars. So, so K. Sean put a, a vet move, put a soldier move on him. <laughs> Yo, hold on, hold on, bro. Let me hold. K. Sean wild out, and it, and it was a three zero. And it's crazy because despite Av having damn you know, near better lines, it, he, didn't, he didn't present it right. He didn't, his presentation wasn't right. You can't be in front of a performer and not perform. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to at least, we know you're not going to outperform his line. And we know Hell you're not going to him at that. Hell but at no. least make the most minimal attempt possible to, to at least perform back. You know what I'm saying? So when Ab ain't even performing, he just standing there rapping. And then when it's K Shine time, Shine is, is is performing to the crowd and commanding the stage. It was almost like you you were just waiting on Ab around to be over with, so you see what K Shine's gonna say again. Like that's how that's how it was. Ah shit. Okay. And that was the third. So overall, it wasn't it wasn't, it wasn't a great battle. It was a good battle. It wasn't a great battle. It was, you know, but it was like more so. This is K. Sean's show right here, and then Ab, yo, oh yeah, by the way, Ab is rapping too. Damn. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, what's well, you're, you're gonna trust me. You're gonna enjoy Ab's rounds. He didn't come with no trans bullshit. It just it looked bad. It just looked different when a nigga like K. Sean was a master. Yeah. And he's a battle rap master. You know what I'm saying? He's a master. Fact. Like, you know, him and you know, he was bad. He battled Hitman, and I was excited because I was, for years, I was saying, he's the two best performers in battle rap. You know, Hitman and K-Shine, he's the two best performers yeah. in battle history. And now they battling each other, Hitman won that battle, so Hitman kept his crown. I thought K-Shine was going to probably, Mike, Mike can get it, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Shine is still uh, in the upper echelon of performers of all time. He's number, he's number two. In, in all of battle rap history, and he, he showed again why he is in that position, and that's the way that battle went, man. Now, I'm sorry, I thought that's the best way I can describe that. That's I'm really. trying to be as fair. I'm being as fair as possible to have. Av was fire. He just didn't perform it, and he let Shine come in the stage. Av did not cut. Like if Av would have gotten his face, because I have a big nigga, bro. Big ass nigga, Av boy. Like six, two, that boy looked like Robin Hood. Bro, if the nigga would have just got in Shine's face the way I was and like crowded space, Shine wouldn't have been able to get off like that. Yeah. But when you when you give a nigga five five feet six feet of space and just let him do his thing, he could he he had hella comfortable. Yeah. Super. Super. He had hella comfortable when when yeah he's too comfortable 
when you're giving them that much space. Like, this shit ain't, it's, it's trying to be the bad guys, bro. They just get up here right your ball. Like, nigga, you got to cut the wing off. You got to look these niggas in their fucking mouth. Look these niggas all in their fucking eye. Like, let them know that, that whatever they say ain't affecting you. Mm-hmm. You got to throw them off. It's body language, too. Like, this, this ain't, you know what I'm saying? This shit is body language, too, man. It's body it's language. the energy you, you give off. Cause it, like when you so, battle B dot, when you battle B dot, cause you reminded me of that. You know what I mean? When you battle B dot, arms crossed, look that nigga straight in his eye the whole time. That motherfucker was rapping. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Now you right. do that. that that's shine. how you. That's how you rap, G. I'm saying. I that's how I get down, bro. I'm looking them in their eyes. To, to, so, to, like, 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 G. said, if it's real, you can tell. You can see in their eyes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I'm looking these niggas in the eyes to see if they really need the shit that they say. I and and they the don't never give me that. He don't never rattle me or shake me. Nothing they be talking about. He rattle me. But that's me. I'm just a different animal anyway. But that's just something Av should to take a learning lesson from from that battle going forward. I think he needs to start implementing ring strategies. This ain't just about rapping. You gotta like cut the nigga. You a big ass nigga. <laughs> That reminded me of Tupac, yeah, yeah, yeah. a Tupac interview. He was like, nigga, why are niggas always talking about shit with Biggie? Biggie, ten times bigger than me. I'm just a little skinny nigga. You know what I'm saying? But heart <laughs> right. separates you. It, 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 heart. Yeah, right. Heart. Heart. Heart separate. And that's not even to say Adam got a heart. Because nah, I can tell he probably really, 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 you know, he with the shit. You know what I'm saying? Real he seemed right, like but. he with all that. But this is just better rap. You gotta show that. You gotta show that in that ring too, man. So, hey, that was thirty, man. It wasn't that great of a battle because it was lopsided. Okay. You know, if, if, if you if you like back and forth, it wasn't one of those. Okay. It was more like this, this is the K Shine show featuring that. So it was like, so this one of these battles probably ain't gonna have no replay value in your opinion. Nah, it's, it's gonna side. get used because it No, I'm just saying because you know how one-sided it's battles, one-sided battles, like niggas, niggas want to see back and forth. Like a one-sided battle, yeah, like you well, get smoke because K Shine yeah, gonna get his well. views. K Shine gonna get his views. This is K fucking Shine. He don't get his views, G. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's gonna get his views. He's gonna get thousand to a million off this. You feel me? Yeah. Like. Cause he went wild, you know what I mean? So, like, probably, probably his energy, his performance by the team down by the third round, like, but by the first, by the first two rounds, it was over anyway. Like, first two rounds, it was over. Shit. It was over. Damn. Yeah. So that's that on that. It was over. So that's that on that. I'm gonna say your battle for last. Go ahead, go ahead. No, no, well, go ahead. Say what you gonna say. Uh, it like, it was clearly k Shine round one. Mm-hmm. But going like round two could have been halves, cause K Sean really didn't take over that second round for like the last half of his second round. Cause it, it, it's like Sean just it, ends his round a little earlier and then it's one one. You know what I'm saying? Now it's anybody's game. But Sean did some shit. He got to this Spanish shit. This when it's, uh, that's all I can tell y'all. But when he got into this Spanish mode and started rapping in Spanish and all that shit, it was over. Okay. That's all I can tell you about that. Without, you know, without leaking the bar and all. Oh, this yeah. nigga just went dumb. When he went to the Spanish shit, that that he beat the round. So any any hope I have had of winning second round, it ended once Shine started doing Spanish shit. If Shine doesn't do the Spanish shit, then Ab wins that second round. Because Ab has some crazy shit in his second. Yeah. Ab was fucking wildin', man. Yeah. Out the gate. Right. Once, once, like I said, once Sean got into that Spanish shit, then it was too old. See, I want to ask like, questions. Okay, I was like, stop the fight. I said, I was in the crowd. Like, stop the fight. Stop the fight, man. Oh, so you Rocky fight, that man. nigga throw in the towel. You know, that scene for Rocky. Throw in the towel. Yeah, 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 it got to that point, man. Damn. Stop the fucking fight. All right, yeah, so. That so bad. That's from Danny Myers, G. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say your battle for last, G. Let's go into Geechee Gotti versus T-Top. You know what I mean? How you got that one? Oh, fuck, man. I think uh, that might be a classic, bro. Oh. I think that's a classic, bro. I, I, you know, 
That, it's probably be that battle of night for sure. Battle of night, without without a doubt, uh, nine point five. In the right nine point five, man. That year, I ain't gonna give it all the way ten. Nine point five, though. Nine point five. That's, that's the highest. It, 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 it might be a classic, bro. I, I might be undercutting it, but I don't want to over overdo it either. But it's it's in that classic realm. Okay, okay, so what was so classic about it? Probably the best T-Top I've probably ever seen, now that I think about it. I mean, T-Top do... Might be the best T-Top I've ever seen. T-Top do good against street guys, too. You know what I mean? When he get another nigga to talk his language. Yeah, uh, man. (laughs) Man, I'm gonna say, man, listen, man. Geechee was talking that shit like he do. He, he, He said, nigga... The little homie got, nigga, the little homie was 15. Nigga got shot 15 times, too many hoes. Nigga ain't even had pussy yet before he died. Nigga said something like the first time he got in the box was in the casket. I was like, ah! That's too, that's too fire, bro. <laughs> little homie never had, <laughs> hold on, little homie got shot up. And then nigga, hey, yeah, he nigga never had no pussy. Old. Only time he had pussy never was when he had- got in the box. Only, only time he got in the box, only time he got boxed was when they put him in his casket, man. Oh. I was, they said you be saying shit that, 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 that makes you cry sometimes. But <laughs> no, but you know there's some we, truth we to that. We doing pictures shit like that, like, oh, look at the, 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 I didn't even hear the situation, man, or, yeah. or just the realism of it. He be pulling these street tales, and he was doing shit like that all night, man. It was you know, when he went against coming. A-Ward, you know what I mean? When he went against A-Ward, he was talking about... Uh, he said something in his third round, you know what I mean, that, that resonated with me like a motherfucker. The fact that I still remember this after doing three blogs a day, every day since then. You know what I mean? He was like, uh, he was talking about he was at a funeral and then the homie son was there, you know what I mean? And then he was like, uh, uh, you ain't got to worry. A nigga was talking to him like, you ain't got to worry about it, man. God got him. But the little homie was like, where was God when he, when he got killed? Dog, when he said, like, when he said, oh my like, God. Damn. So what you said, I bro. agree with you, G. I agree. Like, powerful. Very powerful shit. Yeah, he he that's he's that type of writer, man. He's and, and meanwhile, T Top was was in his bag. Like T Top was saying some shit too. I mean, only reason why I'm, I'm gonna get his battle to Geechee without no less bias is I think T Top might have leaned on that the hair weave angle too long. I, I think he did it too much. Like, he could have just touched on you and left it alone. But he, you know, T-Top, he's a hilarious nigga. When he's clowning, he's clowning, bro. He was up there clowning. Okay. And he had some bars. Okay. So the hair we angle. Bars. But this nigga said, he said something like, nigga, he was on, he was on a street gang documentary snitching, saying this is what we do to shoot that, this is what is happening. This when this happened, he said something, something. I ain't, like, I ain't saying it for blah, 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 the way he said it, because I don't remember it, but I'm just paraphrasing. Yeah. And it was like something, something like, he was like something, something like a, uh, like a street choice. If you really did all the shooting you did, you would have been on there with your face blocked out with the deep voice. And he was like, <laughs> oh, That first, yeah. That gangland Hay shit. Makers, bro. That Hay gangland Maker shit. City. Yeah. Haymaker City crowd is going crazy. They said, yeah, something, something like the street choice. If you was really doing all this shooting, you would have been over there with your face blocked out in a in deep voice. And then he brought out, he put, he put out a black towel. He put out a black face towel and put the black face towel in front of his face like it was the... Oh, like he sold it. He sold and the then, rhyme. He and sold then he it. Started, then he started kind of like rapping in the deep voice. <laughs> Yeah, you know how my fuck be like, yeah, we were doing this, man. We was out here. Man, let me tell you something, though. Yeah, yeah. It was so crazy, right? This nigga Geechee saw his next round. He said, nigga. I really want this shit, nigga. I don't. I really done been out here farm dumping. Them niggas that got their face blocked out, the same niggas that's trying to hide something. <laughs> nigga, the motherfucking building went crazy. Hey, he had to rebut that though. That was one of the ones. He was brutal that. He was brutal that shit so scandalous, my nigga. I was like, yes, the bro. Like that's the only way you can rebut some shit yes. like that. Yes, you got. I mean, but when a nigga hurt you that like that, said, them niggas. Them niggas that got their face blocked out oh, and the same niggas are trying, trying to hide, hide something. something. Oh my God. 
bro. But you got to rebut shit like that. You have to. He had to do that. He had to to get that momentum back. Right. And that was a masterful tactic by Geechee to go in there and freestyle rebuttal some shit. It was a masterful. And to get the momentum back. And it was going back and forth. I think Geechee edged it out in a classic, bro. Like, for real. It's like, you knocked him down, then he got up knocked him down. And he knocked him down, he got up knocked him down. And then, you remember what Rocky told? Huh? You remember on Rocky 2 no. when, the, when the Rocky and Apollo both went down? Uh huh? Yes, sir. In the, in the 12th round? Yeah. And it was two, one, two. And then. Yeah, he was Apollo struggling was to get out. Rocky was getting up? Yeah. And Rocky got up, but Apollo fell back down, and then Rocky won. That's how that battle was. So it was a it's fight. Like they both was on the ground. Yeah. And, then, and when it was coming to 10, Geechee stood up, and T Top couldn't get up. And some niggas will tell you, nah, bro, fuck what they talking about, bro. This nigga T Top beat this nigga guy. Like, niggas will tell you, I'm, I know they're going to say it. Because it was, that, it was that close of a battle. Like, he's trying to give you that, like, damn, both of you niggas probably won. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. I'm not gonna say it's just like a, a clean clean, but honestly, I think T-Top, I'm, I'm a little technical with it though. You know, the, the casual fan, they gonna love the shit T-Top was talking about. I'm more technical, I'm looking at all the, because I'm a rapper myself, so I know what's going on. And so, when I see one angle being leaned on too much, and you keep coming back to the same angle, it's kind diluted. Of like, you know, it's you diluted. Don't have, yeah, you it's don't have down. too much. Angles to, to come at him with, so you don't really know what else to say. So you just keep coming back to this, but you're just saying it in different ways. And I think that's why I think all of Geechee's bars were different. All his bars were different. See, and that's why I gave that battle the Geechee no bullshit. Solid that's the precise reason why. Out the gate. Classic, though. So you got West Coast to what? You know what I mean? Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean, yeah, we, we about to, spot, to, we about to talk uh, about you right now. You know what I'm saying? But West Coast to what for you? Now I mean, let's speak about you and DNA, my nigga. The uh, the champion, oh, the self-proclaimed champion. G, shout to that nigga DNA, cause I fuck with DNA. Yeah, I fuck with him. I love him. I was a tad disappointed in DNA this battle, cause he didn't really turn up to the third round. Like the first two rounds, it was like some light to mediocre shit. You know what I'm saying? And I and I was wicked. Like I'm wicked. Like I'm wicked all battle. His third round, he come with an angle about my wife being addicted to drugs. You know, so which is a true angle? Which is which is a true angle? So he, he come with the, you know, uh, some some nigga you gave some. He said you tried. He said you gave Rex 12k. You spent 12k to try to help Rex, but you ain't take a dollar out of that money to get your wife through those 12 steps. Fire, fire. So I'm like, bro, that was kind of crazy. That, yeah, it was crazy. But that was like the to me, like that was the only thing that that really made my ears pop up. Like, oh, okay, now you, there you go. You know what I'm saying? So, so for, I think the first two rounds, I just took the first two rounds clear. Like on top of on top of my rounds, I'm I'm rebuttaling this nigga. I I'm rebuttaling him while he never actually rebuttals me. He only freestyles. So he freestyling about. A nigga hat in the crowd, some other shit going on in the crowd, and it didn't hit, it didn't land. So then, you remember how he hit twerk with the, I don't, know, I don't know if you saw that, but he hit twerk with the, uh, oh, you talking through my round? Oh, uh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, and then he hit him with that little shit. It really wasn't nothing, but it worked. so dead, so dead, something so dead. Now your voice gonna be going like, oh, man. So I don't know how he hit me with the same shit. I don't know how it even happened, bro. Like, cause I don't be talking through niggas' rounds. I don't know if it was like a beginning round. He might have said something to me, or he might have asked me a question. I don't know what the fuck happened. But he was like, "Oh, you talking through my round?" And uh, he said uh, something, something. I don't know what he said, but I had on a, my, my, I had on one of uh, Jason shirts. Jake and it had it says Jason lives. So okay. Jason from Friday the Thirteenth. So okay. I got that shirt on, and he says, he said something like. He said, fireflies, it's crazy, you don't say Jason lives, but Myers dies. I was like, oh, like, oh, he that, got me. That was cool. Like, oh, yeah, shit. Got, that was cool. Yeah, that was fire. <laughs> that was fire. 
That was fine. Jason but Voorhees, Michael Myers, yeah. In hindsight, in hindsight, he never actually rebuttals any of my bars. I told niggas a whole month before the battle, I said he's not going to be able to rebuttal me because everything so hold on so you wrote your round let me ask you this let me ask you this so you wrote your round rebuttal proof right right because i'll be telling niggas man you can write your rounds rebuttal proof and they don't understand like i'm saying something foreign no nigga if you know your opponent if you just spitting bars a nigga can do that if you just spitting dope punch line punch line i'm gonna catch you with a nigga can rebuttal that shit if you spitting truth and facts a nigga can't be can't rebuttal that Man. You know what I'm saying? And I, so what I'm saying is, he had uh, that moment where he wrapped the first freestyle out of my shirt. But when I freestyle and rebuttal, I actually rebuttal all his bars. Mm. You know, so because like in one of his rounds, his first round, he does a nah scheme. And he's talking about, uh, you know, he said something about got yourself a gun and all these nah songs. Because we was in Queens. So I, in my, when I start my shit off. I'm like, oh, you just said something about got yourself a gun, and you tried to use that for him on fool? Well, this strap is my thing, so wow, bitch, I watch The Sopranos too. Like, mm, I, they, the, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I just got yourself a gun, and, uh, and, and that's and, what and nah shit. Song. That's where it. That's where it came from, The Sopranos. It is. Got it. Got it. Next, next, second round. He gonna say something about a, the Visa card, the chip, the chip on the Visa card, the crowd going crazy and shit. So I said, oh yeah, you said something about a Visa card? Bitch, nigga about to go night-night. Real niggas know you don't need the chip if you know how to do the swipe right. Mm. Hit him, you know what I'm saying? Like, hit him right back. Hit him right back. Catch you know him what up. I'm saying? And the third round, he's going in on, oh, oh, my wife got a drug addiction and this and that. You can't get the kids back till you leave your wife and all this shit. And I was like... I was like, dog, some shit. I was like, it's the third round. This is the third round, and I'm up here smoking this fool. It's crazy how my wife got a drug addiction, but she's still dope for the you. Wow. I'm like, oh, bro. Yeah, I was, I always broke this nigga every round. Just because I knew, like, nigga, I think my freestyle with little game is underrated, and I think, and the reason why is because it's underused. Like, I don't do it all the time. I don't. I don't do it every battle. I just do what I feel like doing it. But I knew going into a battle with DNA, you have to. That, that rebuttal all the time. And, but when you write your rounds, rebuttal proof. Um, it's, it's hard to rebuttal me, honestly. Uh, I battled Charlie Clips, and he's known for freestyling and rebuttaling. He didn't rebuttal me not one time. Because I had so many bars coming at him, he didn't know what to rebuttal. Yeah, I mean, when I you keep hitting the nigga... I don't give niggas nothing easy to rebuttal. And then how you rap, bro. You don't really give niggas time to think. Think about how you rap, you know right. what I mean? Because, like, bro, <laughs> like, your setup I is three... Yeah, show, show Bell, shout out to Shell Bell. She just said that to me earlier today before I got on the phone with you. She said, nigga, you rap, you go, you got so many rapid fire bars coming, a nigga don't know what to rebuttal. You, that's some real shit. And you fuck their head up. I'm saying because you don't have setups. Your setup, like I always tell you, your setups are cut in half, my nigga. You can explain your punches quicker than a normal guy. You know what I mean? That's the same thing. Jesus said, I swear I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Hey, G, but you know, I've been blogging on you for like three, four years. Right, so you already know my, you know. Exactly. Right, so, so the thing is, when, like, you normally, like you said, these guys will have a lot more set up, so it's a lot more filler. So they want one, two, three, punch. One, two, three, punch. So now there's only going to be enough time for you to get only so many punch lines in in a round. Right. So if you only said, like, if you only said eight punches in your round, I could pick one of those eight. And I'll, and I'll usually, like, a nigga will usually take the one that was the, got the most crowd reaction. So whichever one out of your eight punches got the most crowd reaction, that's the bar somebody's gonna rebuttal. Mm -hmm. But when a nigga like me is spending 24 punches around as opposed to just eight, yeah. and they all crazy, you, you, don't, you, yeah. don't know, you don't know what to rebuttal. So no. you just don't even do it. Like I always said, so, when I blogged on you, boy, you get to your punches quicker. Like Day Day, what he said to Baby D, without the rapper, you can get to it quick. Without the without the setup, a long drawn setup, you can get to the punch quicker. Like you mastered that style. You know what I mean? So you yeah, gonna have yeah, more man. punches. Okay, so uh, let me see. So uh, yeah, I, 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 a lot of niggas got 
got me 30. A lot of niggas gave me the 30, man. Five minutes got me 30, man, uh, or, or, or clear to one. I, I'm going to be, I, I mean, I think, honestly, it, it is a light 30, but if we going to give him a round, I'll give him that the third round. But the first two rounds was, 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 was you know what I'm saying, wasn't even nothing to talk about. Wasn't even nothing to talk about. I took back, man. I wouldn't even give, like, the crowd wouldn't even give me my just dude. Maybe some of the bars was going over the head. And I know the bars was going over the head, because... I had one line when I was like, uh, I said, but say you call me out to fight, and you do want that one-on-one. Shit, this is going to be 23 and me to see where DNA coming from. So a lot of niggas didn't know that 23 and me was, is actually a website like Ancestry.com where you can send your DNA in and see where you, you come from. So I said, so... Dang, people probably didn't catch that reference because niggas was hitting me on Twitter. Nigga, like, I didn't catch that shit up. on some real shit. I'm going to be real with you because I'm thinking like, hmm, what the fuck does it, what does it mean? Yeah. It sounds provocative, but what does it mean? Right. What? No, you're good. Yeah, bro, I, I, I hit him with that. I hit him with really so many crazy lines, man. You know me, man. You know me. I'm, I'm saying the, the most wild, most original shit they've oh, ever heard. Hold on, the and most original shit. Original. Like some of the shit, boy. You know what I mean? Like, I've never heard you say nothing that somebody else said. It was like, right. I think it was like one time, but I can't remember what it was, but it sounded similar. But one, what is one time? Out of like, right, 3, out, of, out of yeah, what is one time out of out of uh, sixty something battles? That's a fact. That's a fact. You what is one saying? time? So, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. So my my shit, I aim to say shit that nobody ever said. So everything that I was saying DNA with, like he didn't get no tooth bars, and it's crazy because at the face off, I told him, I said, man, you gonna be talking about biz, twelve k, ten kids, you gonna be talking about all that shit. I know what you gonna talk about. And he said, no, I ain't gonna mention none of that. I told him, well, I'm not mentioning your tooth one time. Mm. So when we get to the, when we, when we battling, he's bringing up the 12 k shit several times. I didn't use <laughs> one tooth bar at all. So you felt like you didn't have to do that to be Yeah, you felt like you didn't have to do that to be Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that, I, exactly. I don't need that. Like, I don't need this. Because plus, a million other niggas have said this to you already. Yeah. So it don't, it, it don't mean nothing to you when somebody say something about your tooth. Like, you done heard all the jokes mm. you can hear about it. You're, Just you're like with you with the 12K. Now. Like, his tooth shit is equivalent to your 12K shit, right? Right. So when, when, I, when I battle... When I battle niggas and I'm talking some shit to them, I want it to I want it to mean something to them. Even if it don't mean nothing to the crowd. I want I want the MC to feel a uh, uh, certain way inside, emotionally, from what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And then and, 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 it's like and, 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 and get to these niggas. Yeah, it's psychological, bro. Like I'm saying some shit that's real and you gonna have to react to this shit, won't you? Yeah, so I, I want to go into, I want to get into the, the MC psyche, man, and I, I, I really think I was touching on a lot of things that nobody hit DNA with, you know what I'm saying, and I, you can tell by his body language, because when I'm rapping now, he's turning his back, he, he's talking to T-Top and K-Shine behind him, really? he, don't really, he don't really want to face he don't really want to face me as a man and, and look me in my eyes on God did him. Because when he was rapping, I'm looking at him right in his fucking eye. Man, bro. I mean, you know how I do. When they, when they yeah. rapping, I'm, I'm, I'm staring these niggas down. But when That's I was rapping, he turned his back. He ain't trying to hear it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm getting to these niggas, bro. Like, and, and that was like a whole move. It was really a whole move for real. And it just looked like he was being, it looked like he was defeated, bro. It just looked like he was defeated. Even though the crowd didn't really want to rock with me the way they should have, they didn't give me that love, but it, it's all good because I just been through that before. I'm back. The one thing that people got to give me credit for is me going to New York, battling New York MCs in their boroughs. Mm-hmm. I battle Steve's in Brooklyn. Thanks. I battle Rex in Harlem. Thanks. I battle I battle Clips in Harlem. Thanks. I battle DNA in Queens. Oh. And I beat all these niggas. Out the gate. You know what I'm saying? I beat all these niggas. But you but 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 you know what I'm saying? But, You're but not let's gonna mention this. Me let's this mention this. Guy or that guy beat me. 
Now let's mention this because niggas don't know your background in New York like that. My nigga, you was stomping down in boroughs, pulling up and battling niggas, G. That's what I was saying. You battled Papoose, right? I was out there before you, nigga. I was battling niggas in, I battled Papoose in Brooklyn, my nigga. Like, I'm battling Dragon in Harlem. That's what I'm saying. They need to know this, brother. I'm battling Shells and SAS. Like, my my, Shells was popping. Shells was that nigga. Yeah, Shells was that nigga. My history in New York battle rap is deeper than a lot of New York niggas. Talk. They need to know. They need to know, bro. That's a bar. That's a fact. So yeah, I took that. I took that battle to one. You know what I'm saying? But it, it wasn't a good battle. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it wasn't a spectacular battle. Like it should have been. Like you got the two most consistent niggas in your history. You, you, you spent a classy. But like DNA messed that battle up to me. Like he the one came like it came like playing around and, and went in there and got smoked, bro. He went in there and got smoked because he was playing. He took me for a joke. He thought I wasn't going to say no shit. Or he thought I was going to say some predictable shit. I went in there and hit this nigga with all kind of shit. All kind of shit. When niggas really die sick, everything I'm saying, do these three rounds on top of me, we buttering. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's going to be clear, clear win for me. So, I, it's, it's, it's a victory I'm proud of. I'm, I'm proud because I beat the nigga in Queens, but I'm not proud because it wasn't a good battle. But I wanted to, I wanted to get the fans to go back and forth. But hey, you know what can I do? You know what I'm saying? I can only do my part. Like I gotta, I, my my opponent gotta be on the same page as me if we want to get him, get the fans a classic. And I can't control what the next man be writing or what he doing. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? And his body language on stage, like, I can't control all that. So. You know, whatever, it's a win, an ugly win, I'll take a win. A win is a win. Like, LeBron might win 90 to 89. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it. And he won. You ain't got, and you ain't gonna blow out every nigga, you know, about 20 points. Sometimes it's gonna be a one point, one point game. 90 to 89. It might be an ugly game. It might be a low scoring game. Mm -hmm. Picture, picture, uh, picture the, 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 the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Patriots. And, and the, the final score was six to three. You know, the Patriots won by two field goals, and that's the six is an ugly ass game. Six to three. Mm. It don't matter because they won. One. That's they it. probably didn't. They probably didn't hit the point spread. They probably they probably lost money on the spread and all that shit. But but, but they won what? the game. They won and, the game. And that, that, that's a victory. Or, you know that counts towards going to the playoffs and that counts in the overall the stats and legacy. Like a win is a win, nigga. That's you know that's that's how I equate me and DNA. I I'll probably give it. Six and a six and a half to a seven out of ten. Hey, bro, damn. So and you, that's how niggas know. You got your battle lower than every battle on the fucking card. That's the lowest yeah, fucking rating. That's how rating. niggas know. That's how niggas know I'm a real nigga, bro. Because I ain't gonna never lie. Like, I'm not gonna lie about nothing. That's how you know my shit is valid. Because I'll get myself the lowest battle on the card. Because that's how I feel. Mm. That's how I feel, bro. Yes, I will. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of it, you know, but I, as long as I came out on the winning side of a bad day, that's all that matters. I'm cool. I'm cool. Fuck it, nigga. I give myself the lowest I won, G. You know what I won, bro? So that's, that's, that's what that was. Uh, let me see. Let me see. The day, the day before that, there was a surprise battle with Saga and Snake Eyes, and we did that. Oh, we did shit. That. In the in the face off homes and uh saga uh, three old snake eyes. You know, pretty clear. This is pretty clear, man. It was it, it wasn't even close. Damn, so let me ask you this. Let me ask you this, because I didn't even know about that battle actually happening. You know what I mean? But Saga being a guy with a uh, different type of content versus a guy yeah. like Snake Eyes, you know what I mean? Right. A street guy right. versus a right. guy Snake Eyes is talking that street shit. And then he's religious. I told Snake Eyes after the battle, like, yo, you might have to respect the battling guys more in your lane. Yeah. Because then you get the guys that got the Snake Eyes that got the Snake Eyes and Snake Eyes that you know, like, we want to see words in, like, the, the Gigi's and the Calico's and the t yeah. Like, that's what we want to see Snake Eyes. We don't want to see Snake Eyes versus Loaded Lux. Because, because it's not, it's not, no, we want to see they, it. 
Yeah, a nigga, uh, like, uh, I want to see a nigga versus a nigga that's talking the same shit as him. Talking the same shit. I want to see a mirror match. Like five and snake eyes. It, 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 snake eyes could have won if he took a different approach, but he was on that jail shit and street shit and Saga was on that bar shit, bro. Mm. And, and, and he broke snake down so cold, my nigga. Oh. It was so savage. It, I mean... I mean, this nigga brought uh, a Bluetooth speaker. This nigga Saga. You remember, you know all uh, that game Metal Gear Solid. Hell yeah, on PlayStation. The first PlayStation. Yeah, so you know that little sound he make, that, that, that little sound he make. Hell yeah. When, 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 when that exclamation point comes uh, yeah, up. Oh yeah, over your head. Talk. Over your head like comic yeah, books. When, yeah, when you Yeah, nigga. This nigga Saga. Because you know, City. bro. Because the only thing, like, <laughs> he only thing. He might be Haymaker of the Year. I mean, it's, it's up there, bro. I got another. Bro, one you up. just fucked me up. I can't wait to see it. Because you know, the strongest thing tied to memory is fucking sense and uh, like, like smells and music. You know what I mean? Sounds. Right. So when the nigga heard that. Imagine a nostalgia was in the crowd. Dog, that's what <laughs> dog. You it fucked was, me up with that. I didn't watch this. I'm listening to you was, tell me. He said the the face that the maker of the uh, I don't know all the words were like making a banger, the making a banger, and the ape of a banger. And when you hear that bro, that means snickers and dang. Oh my god, bro. The crowd went I was I damn near passed out. Oh Nigga, God. I'm going crazy now, and I ain't even see it, bro. He did that. And that was just one of the, and trust me, that was just, that was in his first wow. round, bro. That was just, that was just one of the highlights. This nigga Saga put up a highlight reel on Snake Eyes, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. This nigga put up a highlight reel. Damn, bro, he yeah, got posterized. This was the best saga ever. He got posterized? Yeah, he got posterized. Yeah, he did. This was the best saga ever. Never helps nobody get better. You know, you're, you're actually making it worse for your man. That's so if fact. you're a real friend, if you're a real friend, you're gonna tell your homeboy when he when he funky. Hey nigga, you funky nigga. We can't go in this club then you go put some other yarn on it. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like Exactly. If I, I got a booger in my nose, I'm trying to come home with some bitches. Yeah. I'm trying to come home with some bitches, nigga. You you kinda of foul, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> uh, but it's yes man. They smelling it and they behind his back like, oh, this nigga funky a motherfucker. Like, oh, this shit ain't us. This shit ain't us. Yeah, that shit. ain't going to club. That's not, that's, that's not goofy. real nigga shit. Goofy. It's goofy. goofy as hell. It's goofy. It's goofy. That's, that's why, and that's the analogy basically I'm using for, for sake of, like, I, I'm going to tell you when you funky, my nigga. You got something. And, and, that, and it is what it is. You just took the wrong approach. Don't you pick yourself right back up and come back stronger next time. You know what I'm saying? So, that's, that's how that battle was. Um, that's not a great right. battle. It, 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 you know, because it was a clear 30. It's not really a great battle. It's just a great showing by one battler. See what I'm saying? It's a difference. A great yeah. battle is when they both go crazy. Exactly. It was a display of one's talent in this battle. <laughs> 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 display of one's talent. Yeah. Yeah, same thing with the case. Battle, exactly, you know the exact same shit that you said with Ad. So yeah. that was a 30. That was a 30. Um, then we go into uh, another surprise battle, which was Chess versus Twerk. And oh, that, that happens. 
that happens right after me and DNA. So after me and DNA, in, in a, you know, in a pretty lackluster battle, uh, you know, everybody leave a body there. And SmackDown was taking us upstairs to the secret room where and that motherfucker was packed. It was a little big ass room upstairs in the club. We go up there, it's probably like 50, 60 niggas packed in a little ass room. And mm. just work. Oh, the and classic. Day, Classic shit, yeah. my nigga. Yeah, yeah. Smoky ass fucking room with yeah, two niggas the smoky, black yeah, the, yeah, the smoky room, yeah, they turn the lights off, niggas start cheering. I thought they turned the lights off. Yeah, nigga, but I'm saying, boy. They turned the lights off. Niggas was like, yeah. Yeah, turn the lights off. This would have been some shit. But that's and the, the essence. It was damn near a classic, bro. I ain't gonna lie. It, it might have been, like, between the G, like the G G and T top is is gonna beat that one by a by a slim margin, but that was a, that was like an eight point five to a nine. You know what I'm saying? And the only reason that happened is because um, Chess kind of was choking in his first round, and, and twelve uh, he drove him out in his second round kind of early. So they, you know, this was a battle with the choking niggas, and they were still choking and stumbling. You know what I'm saying? Like. But, you know, aside from that, these niggas are saying the most incredible bars I heard all year. But they, they were choking on each other. Damn, because, but you know, both of these guys have a choking problem. You know what I'm saying? But they, yeah, they, they both wild. fire. They both fire as fuck. You know what I'm saying? They was wilding. And it was a momentum swings. Like, twerk come out. First round was incredible. That nigga said something like, uh, I don't know what he said, like, well, send me five. He said, he, uh, he was naming all these guns, then he said, then I have more tools. Then he got, and I thought about it, I said, what, do you, what, what that mean? And I said, oh, half mortals. Then he got, he said, I have more tools. Then he got, I was like, more oh, tools? Shit. Mortals? <laughs> You know what that reminded me of? Once you just said that, that reminded me of conceded the Captain Morgan's line. Captain Morgan's yeah, 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 come yeah. out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like how you can flip one phrase and make one phrase right. three or four different me fucking too, things. Yeah, me too, me too, me too, me too, exactly. exactly. And it was awesome. Yeah, Twerk had some shit, bro. Like Twerk went in there while the chest, then chest come back in, the, in like in the second round, might be up around of the year. He was wet. He okay. was going crazy top five rounds of the year by Chess. Chess is second fire. round. Uh, it was crazy. I was like, I said, yo, this nigga Chess is reminding Twerk who the original Young Star was. Like, like nigga, you not finna take my spot, yeah. nigga. You know what I'm saying? Chess is fire, and bro. It was Since one, UFF. It was 1-1. One, one. Yeah. It was 1-1 one, one going into the third. And uh-huh. Twerk just left earth in that third, man. Ah, he gave and it to know, him in the third. You remember when he has a... Uh, I remember he has the, uh, he has the, the, the hoodie down on me. Oh, 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 hey, bird. Bird. hey, hey, bird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, this nigga was twerking the wild and his whole third round. And then he says, I'm so good. And the whole crowd was like, yeah. We waited. It's over. It. He said, wait, never mind. I'm still on strike. He said, uh, what do you say? Uh, something. Come on, bro. Like, oh, you, oh. And he's like, yo, Smack, I heard you made 2.5. This nigga, this nigga pocket checked the shit out Smack. Like, nigga, where's Smack? Oh, my God. <laughs> he pocket checked Smack? <laughs> Dog. I ain't never seen that nigga, one. He patted Smack down and was looking for that 2.5 million, bro. And the crowd went up. He know what to do. That was over, bro. He know what to do. It, it was like enough. It was enough to do me, bro. It was like, it was a twerk actually got like three of the top three moments this, this year. Like when he battled Sugar got known and he hit Sugar with the strap in and he jumped, jumped down on the, on the stage or whatever. Then we took the, the hoodie off. Took the hoodie off yeah. on a Moments. Then we just pocket like check. Moments. Pocket check smack. It's like these are just incredible moments in battle rap, bro. He got like the three top moments. Like, even despite all the bullshit, all the, the choking and no shows and the still in the positive, this nigga still got the three top moments, bro. Like, this nigga is that nigga, bro. And uh, Chess came back with a, with a cool third. 
it was a good thing, but you know, work, you can't really come back after like you know that that type of moment like that. You gotta you gotta either match that moment or or supersede it somehow. And, and Chess couldn't couldn't reach it, and uh, that was over, man. That was over. It was a cold, crazy battle. That's dope. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I didn't even know y'all niggas had surprise battles the, the day before. G, you fucked me up. Yeah, with that yeah, one. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Saga and Snake Eyes, yeah. And Chester twerked the next day. So, uh. That's fine. Yes, I mean, the, the event was, it was pretty good. Where was, was y'all at? Raw, man. Where was y'all location at? Where was y'all at? Cause you know Smack, he, he moved from state to state now. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, man. We was in Queens. We was in a club out Missouri. I don't know how you really pronounce it, but okay, so you was in Queens. Club in Queens. Okay, good. I, I, yeah, yeah, uh, I just got through watching. I just got through watching coming to America like three days ago. You know, we spinning the globe. Like, where can we find it? <laughs> In Queens. Right, in Queens. Right, right. <laughs> okay, you was in Queens. Uh, yeah, yeah, they did. They, 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 they traveling, man. They got some, you know, I can't say right now, but I'll tell you later. But, you know what I mean? I okay. can't say it on air, but they, they going some crazy places, man, next year. So, you man. know, I, I'm definitely going to be part of that. So, I'm glad, bro. Because they, they, he's spinning the globe. That's all I can tell you. That's all I can tell you. He's spinning the globe, man. Like, I know they going to London next month. But nigga, next year they 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 might be on on the moon battling. Like, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like they might they might they might get Elon Musk to fly him up in the private spaceship. Oh shit, nigga! And then and, and, and niggas battling in space helmets on the moon, nigga. Like some some shit niggas ain't never did. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> hey man, so I salute to them guys. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's only proper that you know what I mean. These niggas from coming to America is spinning the globe. To find another place to go, you, they ain't looking for their yeah. queen. You know what I'm saying? They looking for a spot to get right. some money in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. Okay. I told them exactly. I said, look, man, y'all got, y'all got Denver. Yeah, y'all got uh, uh you should go to fucking Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they going to fucking Alaska and throw it in. Nigga, like, go, nigga, get this thing to mark is that motherfucker ain't never thought of. All the motherfucking. North Dakota with this shit or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They finna go, they finna go some, some wild places, bro. I saw, I, I can't give it away, but. But yeah, though, it was a dope. Yeah, strike, strike 2.5 was dope. It was great to be a part of it. Um, you know, I, I, like I said, I'm not happy with the, 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 the way my battle went, but I'm, I'm happy with the outcome. So, you know, as long as I gave my job, three rounds, don't show no stuff, gave all first material. I did my job, you know what I'm saying, and I'm, 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 so I'm on to the next, you know what I'm saying, I'm on to the next mission. Yeah, on to the you next. Know, and, I, and I feel like I'm getting underrated this year, because, you know, beating Penn State and DNA back-to-back, it's not no easy feat, bro, but, like, the, the niggas, niggas, like, they always find some way to undercut what I'm doing, like, I'm about to just beat Penn State and DNA back-to-back, on top of dropping crazy rounds on, on St. Mike and battling two guys in one night. On top of starting Restore Order. On top of starting the yeah. Come Outside movement. Yeah. On top of blogging. On top mm-hmm. of, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have done a lot for that. Dude, why? Let me ask- look, man. Go ahead, go ahead, because I don't want to cut your thoughts off, because I got a question for you when you when you're done, bro. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, Boy, I respect you, boy. I don't respect a lot of niggas. You know what I mean? Because you, you there you can, go. Like you can touch, like bro, you're you're a magnificent battle rapper, bro. You know what I'm saying? You come with your own angles. You know what I mean? I've never heard you really repeat, guys. You know what I mean? Right. Um, the fact that you can speak your opinion. You know what I mean? Now you blogging now. You know what I mean? Which you should have right. been doing like years ago because your opinion. <laughs> From a battle right. rapper's perspective, it's important. So battle rappers will respect that. It's like so many avenues that you can come from, but you don't get respected like a nigga, like most of these other niggas. Like not to not to bring this nigga name up, but if you compare you with Surf, niggas will rock with Surf more. But I feel like you can do more than a Surf can do. You know what I mean? So what is this thing about? You know what I mean? Like I mean, you can rap. And you can uh-huh. vlog 
And then, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could do so many different avenues, and I feel like other guys can't do, but they rather rock with the familiar. You know what I mean? Cause right, I feel right. like it's not cool to rock with a Danny Myers. To me, it is. Fuck you mean? This Danny is smart. Danny from the cloth. Right. You know what I mean? What the right. fuck you mean? I'm from the cloth, yeah, so I want to get like, with niggas that's from saying, the cloth. Like, the way me and you talk, the way, the way, the way me and you talk about this hip hop shit, a lot of niggas, is, we are well versed in hip hop, not just battle rap. We're well versed in hip hop. Facts. The art form itself. Facts. From the from the break dancers to the to the uh the the rock hymns and the cool G raps. When we can talk about shit like that, these other niggas can't even have the same type of conversation. Right. Then it's like, it, it just shows different levels. It, it ain't their fault that they probably either wasn't born in that era, or, or they just didn't no, do any homework. But you know, my whole point is, like, don't disrespect the nigga. You can't nigga. do your homework, though. Yeah, but don't disrespect the nigga that, that's kind of from it. You know what I mean? Cause the issue that's that what just I'm goes saying. back like, to me on my OG level. Exactly. Me on that, OG level, that's man. what I'm saying. You know, niggas well, don't respect the OGs. Real, real, real shit. A lot of them do. They probably won't do it in public, but behind closed doors, a lot of these niggas they hit me, bro. They respect me, bro. They hit me up like, yo, man. Can, you know, can, can you can you hear my rhymes? Can you can you go check my bars? Give me some pointers. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas on behind the scenes. I bet. They need, they fuck with me, but it's like they won't get, like they got too much of an ego to give me the same props in public that I give them. Cause See, I'm, that's I'm, goofy. I'm like, that's goofy. I, that's fake. Listen, despite me and K Shine not really working with each other because we really don't. Trying to see you get fucked up. That tension in our battle was real tension, bro. Like, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I feel him brought up. That's it. Hey, we ain't nothing to say. We ain't finna sit down and talk about, oh, I was a kid. It ain't none of that shit. I feel him brought up. That's it. We keep it pushing. Even on the stage, we was having a back and forth. We was like, we got killed you already. I'm like, we got killed you with your dumb ass. We, we back and forth arguing on stage, bro. Like, it's still beef. But I still went on my Twitter saying I appreciate this man's career after seeing what he did to her dad. So I'm, I'm just a nigga, you know, I, they don't really ain't gonna give me that. They not gonna give me that. They not gonna say, yo, man, we're about to give this nigga Danny his props, man. This nigga come to New York, get three rounds, don't matter who the phone is, he go hard every fucking time, and he not scared of nothing, and he speak his mind. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't scared to say, say shit to none Footage of these shows you know what I'm Footage shows everything. Footage shows everything. Right, bro. I, I, I think, I think in, the, in the long run, niggas don't, niggas don't finally realize, I'm like, I'm damn near, I'm for real in the goat talk, man. Because you ain't seen a nigga come out of nowhere and have this type of career, have this many classics and this many bar fests and have taken out this many legends. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never and be this consistent. And be this consistent. Facts. With, with, with no chokes, no stumbles, and all new material every time for every opponent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And on top of doing phone battles, on top of blogging and, and starting trends in the game. Like, niggas ain't never seen that. I'm like really in a GOAT conversation, man. Hey, That's bro, crazy. and this is coming from PPV, my nigga. Like, boy, I'm with you when you right, G. You right. You know what I mean? Because it's the but to me what a, what a goat is is you can touch different avenues 
and still be relevant in your lane. Right. You know right. what I mean? You're a battle rapper. But you can touch different avenues but still be relevant in your lane. Me, I'm a blogger. But I can touch different avenues to still be relevant in my fucking lane. Because I'm hip-hop. Right. Hip-hop, nigga, you had to know how to dance. You had to hit the cardboard on the goddamn, you know what I mean? Break, you know, it's a different thing. You had to know different elements. Because hip-hop is different elements, right? It's different elements right. to hip-hop. You know what I mean? But it, but we old, we older guys, my nigga, we understand the elements of that. You know what I mean? Niggas just want to show up and rap. That's just like a nigga that want to play basketball. All he can do is dunk. What else can you do? Can you play defense? Nigga? Right. You know what I mean? Like, it's different elements to every sport that you're in. And we in this thing called hip hop. You see what I'm saying? So I agree with you, G. You know what I mean? You have to touch. You, you have to be well-rounded. Everybody just want to dunk. Everybody just want to punch. You know what I mean? Like, this is everything. When we first got a court, you know what I mean? All the niggas want to do is dunk. Why nobody trying to shoot no threes? We trying to dunk. Right. We trying to be like Jordan. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's all niggas ever were saying. Jordan. That's it. Jordan. That's it. Niggas go to class in the morning, ball the paper up. Jordan. Yep, Jordan. That's it. <laughs> That's it, you know what I'm saying? But what about the, you know what I mean? What about the birds? Like Larry Bird wasn't a George, but that boy was well rounded. He can shoot, he can he can pull up on you, he can guard you, you know what I mean? But it's different elements to the game. It's only I feel like niggas only uh focus on one aspect of the game because that's what's gonna feel like that's gonna get them to win. Like the the right, new dunk right. is and the it, punch. Yeah, like punching right. is the new dunk. Like when we was doing it in the 90s, all we wanted right. to do was dunk. We weren't worried about defense. Nigga, I'm about to That's dunk on That's a perfect on. analogy. PPV, you know what I'm saying? Like real shit. Like this is where it's at now, G. They don't want to be well-rounded no more. We wanted to be well-rounded, G. But we wanted to be like Jordan at the same time. Yeah, man. So, and, 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 and you know, I got to continue to. That's why I like getting wins over, see, like a guy like DNA. It has to stay those were strategic battles because you got to battle those type of guys a certain way most of the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, Pat State is one of the... Like, him and Goods and Head Ice, them probably the three guys in battle rap that force you to write differently than you do. Because, mm. you know, you can't use your style on everybody. You no. know what I'm saying? Like, whatever it is you do, you might have to, you might have to change the state, you might have to like not do something, or you might have to add some things, or you might have to do a mixture. You know what I'm saying? But like when you battle somebody like Pat State, I have to add more jokes to my shit. You know what I'm saying? I have to than I normally do. You know, because I'm not yeah. really one of those jokey. You know, this is some funny shit. Like you're a poor guy. Type of guy. When I'm rapping, it's serious business. You're you know a poor guy, nigga. Like, Bar guy. Yeah. Guys don't yeah, be playing with niggas. Right. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not time to play when I'm rapping. You know what I'm saying? Like, these other niggas got y'all laughing. That's cool. Y'all laughing when they rapping. But when I'm rapping, y'all ain't nobody laughing. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is serious business. Like, this is serious business. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got to be like, he was saying how people related to Nas's ether. I mean, yeah, Nas's ether over Jay Z shit because. Nas's shit was more humorous. You would laugh. You know what I mean? Jay Z shit, boy, you didn't laugh at Takeover. Takeover was serious. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. You know what I'm was. saying? Compare and contrast. You know what I'm saying? How the motherfucker was saying, like, your shit's more serious. That's what reminded me of that. You see what I'm saying? Right. Right. Yeah, that's, that, yeah, that's kind of like my style. But see, the thing about me is that. When I'm facing those type of guys, and I learned that from the J. Real battle and from like the Cortez battle, where they was able to like out joke me, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people feel like I lost those battles. Like, like bar for bar, I won those battles, but overall, they won factor. the battle overall. Entertainment factor. Yeah, yeah, they won from entertainment factor because I'm not really wasn't in my entertainment bag like that. You know what I'm saying? Which I can be. It just it, it, it depends on this on the on the on my opponent. You know what I'm saying? Like I can I can get into the entertaining shit when I want to. You know what I'm saying? I can do it all. Like that's what that's where I'm in that go category. Yeah, you will. Like I'm, I'm as versatile. I'm as versatile as a as a hollow gun. You know what I'm saying? Like where he can freestyle, I can freestyle. Where you know what I'm saying? Like 
it's a certain thing. Everybody got their own little thing they specialize in. <laughs> but uh, you know me, it's about just being clever. Cause I'm 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 from a uh, like that that era of the Koji rap shit, bro. Like uh, the rapidy rap, the rock Kim. Yeah, the rap that you write. Rock Kim content, substance, yeah. substance content, complexity. Like I, I, I was more gravitated towards the, the complex shit and mm-hmm. how witty a nigga can be. Like Big Daddy Kane, Kumo D, even LL Cool J. So you know, Boy, it's like that, that, that took rap serious. Yeah, and they, and it was battle MC. That's the crazy thing. So that's where you know I, I, I was molded from from their from their mold. You know what I'm saying? Just I, it, I was just from the West. So, you know, I, so that's what I pretty much specialize. That's my main forte is to say some crazy, like some dope shit, just dope lyricism, just to be dope, to outwrap my opponent, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes you might get an opponent that outwrapping them ain't gonna, gonna be enough. You might have to do other things. So, like, yeah. I can get in there with Hollow the Don, and uh, that's a battle I'm definitely trying to make happen. This year or next year, 2019 coming up. Oh, shit. So, so if I go in there and just bar, bar, punch, bar, 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 punch, 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 hollow, it ain't gonna work. Because while people will say I- I'll grab him, they're gonna be like entertainment wise and, mm-hmm. and, and multi layer thing that hollow does where he, he can joke on you. Yeah. He can he can he can try to block on you. He can go into the multi syllable grind time style on you. He can mm-hmm. freestyle on you. So there's okay. a lot of things Hollow does that puts him in a a higher category. It's like this is a different level of competition. So with somebody like Hollow, it, it it's, it's actually kind of fun because it allows me to do the other things that I can do. You know what I'm saying? Like so I battle with lyricists. My thing is to be more lyrical. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, that's I'm the, that's the focus. Lyricist. Like, I'm not trying to out joke a little. Like, when I battled Chilla and JC and him, I wasn't funny. Like, this ain't funny. This ain't the time to be joking. Like, this is a time, oh, they call you the, the best pen? All right, let me show y'all niggas that I'm the best pen. Let me show y'all I'm the best pen in battle rap. That's why I, I do what I do to them lyrical niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And... So when I get a nigga like Pat Stay, it ain't so much focusing on lyricism. Mm-hmm. Or like DNA, it's not really so much focus on lyricism. It's more like, let me beat you in all type of aspects. Yeah. And this is why I was able to, this is why I was able to beat them. That's the game. So with Hollow, with Hollow, it's going to be another one of those situations where I, I can show niggas like I can do it all. And I'm going to win. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm definitely going to uh, take that. Because, like, I told Hollow, it's just my title. I said, you know, Hollow going to have to see me for that GOAT title. You know, if that's who y'all call mm-hmm. the GOAT, yeah, what y'all going to say when I beat him? Now, I feel you. I feel you on that. You know what I'm saying? So, let me ask you a question before we, uh, you know what I mean? So, you got Hollow on what uh, what card? Uh, it, ain't, it ain't set in stone. I know you said he's willing to do it. Okay, um, okay. I, I'm gonna be taking. I'll be taking Iron Solomon early, early next year. I'll be taking Iron Solomon. So oh, stop! Yeah, me, me oh, Iron because y'all from the the same cloth, G. Yeah, yeah. It's it's that it's that type of battle, bro. You know what time it is, like. Yo, well, I'm just, yeah, that's bro, I'm, I'm different. Fire. Y'all from the same fucking club. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying. I'm not saying that. But y'all from the same yeah, yeah, yeah. era, yeah, the, the same, same club. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, he was just same. in tournament. And, but what I'm saying is, that go make me go into a whole different gaming mode with, mm. with the, the references and the, and the, the pen game. Like, mm. I'm going to show him he's not a better writer than me. Like, I'm going to show him that. He's not more ferocious than me. He ain't. I'm a demon, bro. Like I, I I'm, I'm like the coolest nigga in the world. I'm like the nicest guy in the world. But when it's time to get in that ring, I'm really a demon. This shit different, bro. Nah, nigga, I know. I'm two nigga. different niggas. Like, so yeah, yeah, you already know. <laughs> but uh, so I got, I got Quan Physics coming up uh, December 29th, I believe, in Memphis. Iron Mouth Valley, where I battle Jose Quero. Okay, so, okay, yeah. Shout out to, <laughs> shout out to, uh, uh, shout to my nigga AC Dutch. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, shout out to that. That's a real dude. High five. You already know what I'm talking about. Um, that battle going down December 29th. And this is one of the guys they say is the God pin. And 
you know, one of the best writers and all this shit. Now watch what I, watch this. That's all I'm saying, man. That's all I'm saying. Like I'm finna, I'm finna like take it here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna push the boundaries. Okay, let me That's ask you this. I'm all about pushing the boundaries. Like even like when I battle Sting, you remember when I battle Sting and I uh -huh. got yeah, it, we did a recap. Got it to my third round where I uh, to, comparing the, the battle rap to a woman. Like nobody had done that before in battle rap. Uh -huh. Like I push the boundaries, bro. I, I, I invent shit on niggas. Like mm -hmm. it ain't gonna. Everything ain't gotta be just punch. Oh, that was dope, bar. That was dope, bar. Like no, that was. But that was incredible. <laughs> like, I'm trying to do some shit. So yeah, Quantum Fizzy, Iron Solomon, those type of guys push me to you know to my creative genius to uh, defeat them. And that's what that's the whole. Point. That's the reason why I battle rap. That's the that's the reason why I battle rap. It's those type of battles. To uh, show that I'm better than all these niggas. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, That's the whole like, purpose. Really shit is cool. Like, the, the being world famous and all that shit is cool. But I'm really in this thing to, to prove I'm the best nigga in the, in the game. Or but, at least one of the best in the top five, for sure. But that's the whole... If I ain't the best in the whole world, I'm one of the best ever like, in, that, in that category. You know what I'm but but, but take me out. Take me out. Take me out. Because this is the whole purpose. You're in this to prove that you're the best. Hey, yeah. and motherfuckers have lost sight of that. Like, this That's is what, what this, this is, is about. Why, this is why. You see why we on the same page? Because yeah. niggas, niggas forget that the whole purpose of battle rapping was to prove that you was the best battle rapper. That's it. Not that about money. Not about money, how much money you can get for it, shit. Man, it's just to prove that I can beat your that. ass. You the best nigga. Yeah, and I can I can beat you. I think a lot of these guys get cool with having popularity and having facts. Getting the getting the views. That's and, why and, shit and, goofy, and bro. Shit goofy as hell, G. It's not what we it's not yeah, what niggas signed up for. Being the best. Like it's, so sir. He like sir, for example. He is trying where he's at. Like he's 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 a, he's a worldwide star. He he's gonna get a million views every battle or three million. Like he's he's fucking with NBA stars and, and, and rap stars. Like he's not really concerned with being the best battle rapper in the world. Well, he's concerned with being one of the most popular niggas and most top paid. So that's his goal. That's his thing. Thanks. So I think when he focuses on that. It takes away from his actual craft, and he's still great at what he does when he can actually get through his rounds. That, 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 hold on, hold on, now key fact, key fact, when he can actually get through his rounds, I love the fact that you said when he that. Through his rounds, it's he, a he, fact. He's great, like, he's great. He's it's not, a fact. He's not in my, he's he good. Not in my top I ain't gonna say great. Like I, yeah, yeah, I gonna say great. He good, but you know what I'm saying? But if he can get through his shit, he gonna go. Yeah, but. Like guys get a certain, they attain a certain level of success, and now they fall back on a skill set, which what is what got them there in the first place. And that's where you see where niggas start declining, and he starts seeing them fall off. Like like Charlie Clips, when you see him versus A Bird, you you felt like Charlie Clips was trying to make a statement. Like I'm yeah. the best nigga here. Yeah, I remember that. And when he battled Big T, when he battled Big T and shit like that. You, he was like making this thing like I'm the best battle rapper on the planet. Fuck what y'all talking about. That's how you felt when you watched Charlie Cook. But then when you watch him years later, and, he, and, he, yeah, he and he's jumping and, he, and he, he don't have third rounds, he's just fumbling yeah. and stumbling through his round. Like he don't care no more. Like the, his aim, his focus is now somewhere else. Like I never took my eye off the goal. You my always goal was, was consistent. Best nigga. <laughs> That's the difference. That's the difference, right? That's the real difference, bro. Like, I never took my eye off the goal, which was to be the best battle rapper. That's why I'm not the most viewed. That's why I'm not the most paid. Because that's not what my focus is. Brother. But when you, when you talk about, when you talk about who's one of the best battlers on the planet, I'm, I have to come up. I'm, my name has to come up. Niggas can hate and say, oh, Danny Trash, he ain't, he ain't as good as he think he is. That nigga whack. He didn't say a bunch of whack, random shit. He, niggas like, niggas be just saying random shit. Like, they don't say some hating and shit like that and not really want to acknowledge. Yo, this nigga really been one of the most consistent we ever seen. Consistent, I, bro. They won't I say swear. that part. Because, you know, you know, sometimes. I people... don't have to be a favorite. This is why I tell niggas all the time, bro. I don't have to be a favorite. I'm not, 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 I'm not,
No, but, but, but I want you to understand. You have to respect what I'm doing. You have to. You know what I mean? But you know why you don't get the respect. I feel like you do know why you don't get the respect. It, it's your side and where you from. But it's like how you carry yourself, G. You don't run around here on no gangster shit. Niggas want to. That's what it is. You know what I mean? Niggas, like, you know what I mean? Niggas fuck with me because I hold the That's chopper. That's what it is. But look, 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 check me out. Cause I'm gonna I'm do a compare, a compare and contrast, G. I'm being real, G. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, I'm a street guy. You know what I mean? I ain't in the right. streets like I used to be. But niggas see me hold this big ass chopper. Right. My fucking 40 cal. You know what I mean? Cause this is what I always been doing since 2010. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna keep doing the same shit I've been doing for eight years. So it's like done. Dog, if you was doing the same shit I was doing, they would fuck with you more. You know what I mean? I have some offense. That's the one that's doing me right. You absolutely right, man. That that's that it, 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 here's the thing. Cause I'm like uh like me, I'm really a street nigga, bro. Like, and I tell niggas, a nigga not gonna have twelve racks to give to a nigga. If he not really in the street, niggas don't understand. That one, that, that one, it ain't like it ain't like I um that graduated college and I make a hundred k a year at some some big ass five hundred company. Bro, I I get it in, bro. Like I I'm, I'm you know what I'm saying. So I don't really have to glorify all that shit and, and do all that shit. Like I don't really do that. But for those that know me, they know. Niggas, yeah, I don't, I don't glorify nothing. Rich. Like, if you niggas watch my Facebook, man, I'm talking about cooking for my children. I'm watching a movie right. with my daughter. You know what I mean? Right. Chilling with my that's wife. What that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm on, on the, that. So I'm yeah, on I'm on that, that different I'm type on of time. I'm on a life of normalcy. Yeah. I'm not really with a grown man. I could easily, I could easily been flashing a gang of money and buying the biggest diamonds and chains and shit. Like, like when I was younger, I was doing shit like that, buying trucks, putting yeah, 26 grown, on them. Making my making myself hot in the motherfucker. Yeah, we grown, G. Police. We grown, G. No, so I'm I'm at you know, I'm at an age where I don't, bro. I'm not really I don't really give a fuck about none of, none of that, bro. Like you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I'm a regular nigga. Like I'm watching cartoons. I'm a kid. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I'm like, I'm a kid. 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 Like, I'm a but that's just me. Because I'm not going to fake the phone. But I, I will tell you this. Like, don't, don't ever get that twisted. Like, oh, well, that's not going to speak, nigga. Because, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. don't, just that's what I'm saying. Right like this, wrong well, nigga. Don't, yeah. don't, don't get me twisted. That's all I'm I mean, 48 Laws like, of Power, my nigga, it was always a show. Show who you, right. who you want to be rather than who you are. I don't want you to know yeah. who I can really transform into be. I'd rather just... Exactly. I don't need you to see that. No. Like, I'd rather create a persona. And, like, I'm cool, my nigga. But, like, if I got the gorilla suit in the closet, if you want to see it. You see what I'm saying? That right. gorilla suit can come out the closet at any time, my nigga. And it's still fits right. you. It steals my size, G. You know what I mean? It's still your size, nigga. Don't, don't, get, don't ever get that twisted, nigga. Never. Out the gate. Out when the you gate. a street nigga, you a street nigga for life, bro. I don't care if you change your life. And a lot of niggas, that the the, the, the nigga side come out of niggas. When, when you know, when even the, even the most preacher of preachers, the most uh, nation of Islam, Back. it don't matter where who they came you are, from. Where they came from? Venue. They came from the streets first. A lot of these niggas came out the prison. I what swear. Are you talking about? Like my dad is a talking about. So don't so just cause you see this man on the corner selling a final call, he got his bow tie on, he's selling you a bean fly, he's he, he trying to eat. Don't 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 get that twist. This nigga that's probably been ten years. That like, nigga you feel me? Like, he will beat don't, your don't, ass. Don't make him remind you yeah. where he came from. So that's what that's me. That's me. I'm like Reform. I'm just chilling in my bow tie, bro. Don't make me show you don't make me show you this this other shit, bro. Cause I'll tell you. And I'm the same yeah. way. I'm reformed, bro. I just try to look at shit different because I don't want to hurt nobody. I just want to live, that's, that's what it is. I don't want to hurt, hurt nobody, I don't want to hurt nobody. And don't push me to the fact that I feel like I got yeah, hurt you. Yeah, it's like, man, I'm trying to chill, G. So I definitely understand. I'm reformed as hell, G. I ain't no Muslim. I ain't shit. I grew up in church. 
but it's just a conscience. It's like, man, I got kids, and I don't want to display certain type of right. behavior in front of my children because they're going to pick it up. Like, you know what I mean? Whatever you put down, your kids going to pick it up. Real shit. Not just trying not to put down certain type of shit. I'd rather put it on camera, talk my little shit. Like, man, I don't want my kids to be like how I was, G. Because it was different from when I came up. You know what I mean? Just like when you came right. up, it was different. Like, you had to be a certain type of way. You don't have to be no certain type of way. You could be free to do your whatever type of shit you want to do now. You know what I mean? In the 90s, dog, you had to be in a certain type of uniform. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah that's it, bro. This why, this why, listen, boy, this why, you know what I'm saying, we can have these type of conversations. You know what I'm saying? Because we, we really wanted the same type of nigga for them, bro. I'm my mama. I'm my mama. You my brother. You know what I'm saying? Brother. We, we some hip-hop niggas. We some street niggas. We some regular niggas. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't like, it's, it's many sides to a man. Mm -hmm. And so... I think what happened is these, a lot of these niggas fake like, this, this is the crazy part. A lot of niggas fake like they only gangster. They don't, they, they, that's the only side they, they ever gonna show you. That's right. the only side. I'm gonna tell you this, bro. <laughs> Those niggas that's really like that and they only got one switch, they use like a maximum security. Or they did. Oh, my mom. Like, that's the, like the, the real ones that's really only got that crazy side to him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. These niggas that's with the shit, there's a different, there's levels of gangster too. Cause yeah. there's niggas that might be willing to go be the lookout man on the, on the, on the, but y'all gonna run in his house and he gonna be the lookout man or he might be the driver. He might be the nigga to kick the door in. You know what I'm saying? There's different levels. And then, then you got niggas, you got niggas that don't give a fuck about life. You got, you got niggas that Facts. don't give a fuck about life. Facts. Facts. They own life, they are child life. You don't care about crazy nothing. motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. If you were here, so I don't want to hear all this bullshit, cool that. You're not in the cell with them niggas. Them niggas are sectioned off from the other niggas. You know what I mean? like, <laughs> swear to God, bro. You can, these niggas can't be, they can't mend with you niggas, boy. They gonna fuck one of you like, niggas up, G. <laughs> For no reason. These are niggas that's, that's gonna snatch the security, the CEO, when you walk past too close. Mm -hmm. They're gonna snatch him up and try to chunk him out and don't give a fuck about getting shot and killed. That's, that's the last level of crazy, my nigga. Yeah. And they'll, like, so all this, this Instagram shit and you showing off your gun on Instagram and this and that and you got the mask on, you got, like, I said, that's for show, man, because real, the real guys ain't gotta do that. Real they shit. Do that. Real shit. Real gangsters know how to move. When it, when, it, when it happen to you, it's gonna happen to you, bro. When they catch you, it's gonna happen to you. They ain't gotta show it off. Mm -hmm. They ain't gotta tell you what they, all this typing back and forth on Facts. Facebook. When Facts. I catch your bitch ass, it's gonna say, uh, it ain't gonna be none of that. Cause nah, cause it's a gang. Nah, because it's a gang. Nah, because I'm saying, if I wanna get you, why would I know, why would I tell you that it's coming? If I'm Why would I give you a notice? Exactly. No, nigga. Only time you get a notice is your fucking heat getting cut off. Nigga, this ain't a bill. This ain't a bill, nigga. when it happened to you. It's going to happen. You when it happened to you. You know what I'm saying? The last thing so I want you... And, I, and I'm pretty much that way, bro. I don't... I'm not going to be back and forth arguing and this and that and the third. Just like... Oh, yeah, man. We'll talk about that on a whole other show, man. I'm like, we'll get into that shit on a whole other show, man. <laughs> I feel you, bro. So we gonna leave that at that. You know what I'm saying? We gonna leave that at that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't wanna hold you up, my nigga. Cause you know you my brother, my nigga. We've been talking for like four years, my nigga. We could talk all fucking night. You see how it went from the strike 2.5 to everything else? <laughs> we, we was talking about one thing, my nigga. But you know what I'm saying? You my brother. You my brother. You my brother. We can just keep talking. Remember what we talked about before the fucking interview happened? Remember what we were saying to each other? Exactly. You see this shit? Nigga, that's on the end, bro. That's on the end. Like, that's real shit. You my brother, bro. Like, I, I really can't really build with a lot of guys, like, conversation-wise. In battle rap, bro, you... It's definitely one of those niggas, bro. I could just, it just go loose. You know what I'm saying? We gonna talk. Yeah, yeah, we just talk, bro. We, we just, just talking. We just talking. Like, we, 
we just kicking it, bro. Like, it, it ain't got to be no scripted shit. All Nothing. right, you ask me about this. All this is freestyle. You ask me about this. Yeah, that's off. That's off limits. Don't mention that. Like, it don't never be none of that. Nigga, we just get on the phone and talk. Out the gate. Out the gate. Nigga, we, we wind up talking about battle rap to bitches to Marvel Comics to, to space-time continuums, nigga. Like, <laughs> we don't matter. <laughs> Like, your, your, our mind is broader than, than what a, uh, the average nigga would think. You feel me? Out the gate. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, we come from an essence where we can speak about different type of uh, subjects. Right. And tie it all right. in. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Like, this Absolutely is what's special. Up. This is what's special about our dynamic. You know what I'm saying? These niggas got to witness our dynamic. Like, in the purest form. Bro, so when you drop these, just tag me, bro, and I, you know, I'm gonna share them. But drop these joints. Niggas need these jewels. On my mama, on my mama. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I got to delete some shit to get the ender out. Hold on. So, PPV, live with this motherfucker with my brother, man. My brother from another mother. West Coast nigga, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? With my nigga Danny Myers, anything else you have to say to the streets before we call it a rap, my brother? Yo, man, if y'all want to talk some real shit, man, this is where you come to. You come to this man right here, Mr. Circle City. Come fuck with him. PVV, he is a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to say that. He's a real man. He's a real man. He's a real genuine. He's a human being. A genuine human being. But don't never, never take a nigga kindness for weakness. Ever. That'll get you really fucked up out here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we'll talk anything from Battle Web. Politics, sports, women, outer space shit, movie, cartoon, don't matter. We from the same club, my nigga. Facts. Any nigga that, that feel like y'all on that same level with him, hit him up. And y'all conversations gonna go. go this same way. This how y'all conversations gonna go. This out, same way. Out the gate. Out the gate, man. Out the gate. Shout <laughs> salute to my brothers, Danny Myers, man. I definitely hey, appreciate you. Hey, when I come you. back, nigga, I need, I need it. I'm going to be I'm looking for the dude's sake, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I, I got you. still on the dude's sake. Hey, 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 but remember last time <laughs> you, you came out here, you wanted, beer. last time you came out here, you wanted some beer. Guess who had that beer for you? Didn't I bring it up? Y'all, yeah, you already got it. I got you, my nigga. Whatever you want, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? No, uh, Tony, Tony, Tony. Whatever you want, my nigga. No right. homo. No homo. You know what I'm saying? But PPV. Got you, got you, got you. PPV live with this motherfucker with my brother, Danny Myers. He fucks with me. We've been fucking with each other for years. Shout salute to this man, my nigga. He been on the slab, putting it down, consistent as fuck. One of the most consistent battle, battle rappers in the modern Back. history of battle rap, my nigga. He Back. show up, he play and show up to do his, what his thing is. You know what I'm saying? He shows up to rap right. every time. Shout salute to you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you for your time. And, and, you I know, thank you for your time, you know nigga. Saying? Fuck you talking about? I thank you for your time, nigga. Nah, it's mutual, baby. It's mutual, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't have these conversations with just anybody. You know what I'm saying? So, Out the gate. When I can get somebody to talk to on the same level with me, it's always a mutual feeling, brother. So, the loop for you and yours, man. I appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Yeah, hit me in a few days, bro. I got you, my brother. Uh, PPV, live this motherfucker with my brother, Danny Myers. We out this motherfucker. Pussy.